it's Rachel and today I am back with a haul video. I've got three PR orders and I've also got a little something that I ordered from Paper K. Not much today because we're on a bit of a no spend or definitely a very low, 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 low spend. Um, but let's have a look at what I've got. Hey guys, okay, just before I get into the haul that I just told you about, I've not long got back from Planifest and I've got a little bag here that is full of goodies that I picked up there on the day and I just thought that I would quickly film this and insert this in first before the haul starts so you could see what I picked up from Planifest. I thought that if I put it at the end of the video, not everybody goes right through to the end of all the videos so you might miss it and there's some good stuff in here that I wanted you to see. There's not a lot of stuff, I don't have too many spare pennies at the moment if I'm going to be completely honest with you but there's some stuff in here that's really really cute and I just thought that it might be nice for you to have a look. So, I have got in no organised situation whatsoever because I just dumped everything in this bag that I got but I'm just going to sort of tip things out and um, we will figure out what is going on in here. So, let's start with... Oh now you see, organisation would have been the key here. Let's tip everything out and then I can tell you what's from what shop that would make much more sense wouldn't it is that everything that's not everything <sighs> you don't come here for the organization do you guys <sighs> right right okay so i'm gonna put that to the side because that is not mine but the rest i can show you okay so we'll start with this because i only got one thing from this shop so, first of all, I am going to show you, <laughs> this is the most disorganised way to do this. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you this kit which I picked up from Planaface. I actually saw this because Beth picked it up and uh, she's obviously into the Formula One like I am. This is the Pit Stop kit. I just had to have it. It's actually Silverstone this week, which I know I'm not going to it, but um, it's our home race and I just thought that I could use this for this week. So, we've got our eight full boxes. We have got some functionals and a couple of extra boxes. We've got some more functionals and some buildies. We've got some headers, some more functionals and a few little headers there as well. We have got some checklists, some page flags and some more functionals. We have got our date covers and some washi. And then what else did I pick up? Oh, we've got some extra boxes. And I have got the sheet of icons and deco as well. So quite a lot in this kit. There was more than I expected there to be. I don't often shop with Planner Face, not for any particular reason. I just seem to forget that it exists. I don't know why. I definitely follow it on socials, but um, yeah, I'm happy with that. I really like it. And I need to remember to go and have a shop on that shop more often. So that's everything that I picked up from Planner Face. Okay, next up I've got a little something from Inky Bajinky. Is that how you say this shop? Inky Bajinky, I think. There you go, you can find their information there. Now I did pick up some washi in a little grab bag and it was like you paid one pound and you got the washi. I've given it to Paige, but it was one of those um, plain colours that's got the grid over the top of it and it was a pink one and it was really nice. But I picked these up for myself because I just thought that these were absolutely beautiful. So we've got some individual stickers and they're like a plasticky sort of vinyl-y. They're really, really nice. I know I've got one twice and it's because it's for two different books but we've got this one here that says book trivet that was really pretty and then we've got this one twice that just says the book is always better and I absolutely agree with that and I can give you two examples of that right now because I recently read You which has been uh, made into a series on Netflix, the book is better and I also read Pretty Little Liars um, and I've watched all of the entire series of that, the book is better. So that is definitely true. So I'm going to have a look on the website and have a look for some more of these individual stickers because I really, really like these. I like them a lot. Uh, yeah, they feel like really good quality. And Paige was very happy with her washi as well. I also have another washi here and it was with this stuff. But I'm not 100% sure it is from this shop. But it's very, very pretty. It's giving me Lauren Phelps Designs vibes. It's not from Lauren Phelps Designs, 100%. They weren't there at the event. But if you recognise this washi and what shop this washi is from, do let me know so I can let people know in the comments because I know they're going to ask. It's absolutely beautiful. I just can't remember where it's from. Next up, I picked up a few goodies from the Grumpy Tortoise. So the first thing that I picked up was this Stalogy. This is an A6 Stalogy and it is a 365 days one, so a full year. The reason why I picked this one up is because I've decided that I have my A6 Hobonichi for journaling in, which I really love, and it's a day to a page. I don't always manage to write in every day. 
Um, but that has become more of an overview of what has happened on that day rather than a thoughts and feelings type thing. And I've had a lot go on in my life lately and I'm looking for a place to brain dump it. I used to do that in my other um, journal last year when I was journaling last year and I kind of fell off a little bit. But lately I'm really missing just getting the words out of my brain and onto a page. It's just such a relief to literally just dump them there. So I picked this up for that because obviously it's not dated and if I want to use five pages just to rant about how I am sick to death of the crap that life keeps dealing me, then I can. Um, or if I wanted to write some of the good things that go on. There are good things that go on in my life as well. So anyway, I picked this up and you can see that I paid £22 for it. Um, not much to say about that, you all know what the stylogy is like. But whilst I was on that stall, I found some little stickers. Now, I did originally only pick up three, and then Linda said, oh, these are four for whatever, so I ended up getting four, and I think I did get the same one twice, potentially. Oh, no, I didn't, just similar. So, these particular stickers stood out to me just because I love the pastel on them. I thought it was amazing. So I got one that says, you are loved. Chase your dreams, because my word of the year is dream introverted but willing to talk about my dog now i'm not quite sure that i am introverted to be honest um i definitely used to be much more introverted than i was i probably come across quite confident on this channel um but uh maybe i'm not i'm not too much in real life i don't think i can get very awkward very quick which is quite annoying but anyway introverted but willing to talk about true crime obviously all of those things are true so yeah a little order that i picked up from the grumpy tortoise Next up, I've got a few stickers from House of Stickers. Now, I did have more stuff, but I gave some to my pagey. So she had a notebook, which I've given her. There was a pen, and it was in this style. Um, so you can kind of see what that is. This was a freebie that was in the bag as well, which is super cute. But the thing that got me about this is when you turn it over, it says, thank you and love you. That's just so sweet. I love that so, so much. So yeah, love that. But I picked up a grab bag for myself and it was one of these ones which has got some foil stickers in. So we'll play the little grab bag game that we like to play and I'll pop them to the side of which I'm gonna use and which I'm gonna de-stash. But first of all, I got these really cute coffee cups. I'm gonna keep those. I have got these nautical wreaths. They are cute, I'm gonna keep them. I've got these IG Bow Dewdrop. <laughs> I have got these IG Bow Dewdrops. I'm going to keep those as well. I've got some checklist boxes. This is all in gold foil. I have got like a little sampler that's got all sorts of bits on it. I'm going to keep that one. I have got some laptops. Now we've moved it to holographic foil. I'm going to keep those. I've got some stethoscopes which we could use for doctor's appointments or hospital appointments. I'm going to keep that. This one which says reading time, of course I'm going to keep that one. And I've got these teeny tiny little scripts that are in silver foil and they say cook, work, clean, shop and plan. Now these are beautiful but they're a little bit too small for me so I'm not going to keep these ones. But I don't think that is too bad at all. I've got one that I'm not going to keep but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I am going to keep. And I have to say as well the shop owners for this shop were just lovely, so, so lovely. So I'm definitely gonna go and have a look on um, their website or their Etsy when I can find them because I've not shopped with them before and have a little look and see what I can find. But for now, that's everything I got from House of Stickers. Finally, 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 my favourite store in the whole wide world. And of course, the reason why I was at Planner Face because I was helping Joanne out along with Beth over on her store. We've got Josephine Bow Designs. Uh, so yeah, I was lucky enough to pick up a few bits there on the day. So there was a new collection that was launched on the day as well, which was really nice. So we'll do that first. We're going to put these to the side. Let's go through the new collection. So first of all, we've got these three absolutely gorgeous washies. I am totally and utterly in love with these. Just how pretty. So we've got the 15 mil, the 10 mil and the five mil. Absolutely gorgeous. I can see a washi dashboard coming on. And this is called the Flower Power Range. I should have said that. Let's put those to the side as well. So I've picked up the full kit here and we've got this in standard vertical size. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So we've got our eight full boxes, Grow With The Flow. Let's play the favorite box game. It has to be this, you know, and this is available on album covers. It's also available in a vellum and an acetate. I am totally, totally obsessed with it. It's also this washi here. 
it's just absolutely gorgeous i think i need some albums with it on anyway it's beautiful grow with the flow then next we have got our date covers look at those date covers <laughs> with the little speech for us that's such an amazing little thing then we've got our trackers, we've got some checklists, a weekend banner. The colours in this kit are just absolutely stunning. Then we've got some of that washi there in the sticker form. Absolutely beautiful. The foiling is on point. Look at those headers at the bottom. Just amazing. And then we've got some functional boxes here as well. And then to go along with that, just because I wanted to make it stretch a little bit further, I want to try and get a spread in my um, memory planner and maybe one also in my task planner. I will be doing plan with me's again in there very, very soon. Some of you have been messaging me on Instagram and asking me, they're coming, they're coming. Um, and so I picked up these flower power mixed boxes. And the boxes have got the speech bubbles in, which I just think is absolutely awesome. So I got that to go along with it. And then I also picked up the journaling version. So this is a two page journaling kit. So this is our first page here. Isn't that just so pretty? I love how even though it's a smaller kit, you still get the main box. So for me, what was the main box? The one with the writing in it, grow with the flow. Just so beautiful. I'm in love with the colours of this kit. And then we've got the second page there as well. And there is just so much on there. I am a huge, huge fan of this torn washi look. It's very popular at the moment in the journaling world. And I'm just here for it. I love these kits that Joanne does. I love it when shops do them. And they make sure they get as much as possible on the pages. Because it's just better for your money, isn't it? Better value for your money. So that was a flower power journaling kit. Now something else that I picked up on the day was an oopsie bag. So this is a mix mixed tabs bag there's 10 sheets in here for 10 pounds which i just think is absolutely amazing um, they are unfortunately not available on the website if you're in the josephine bow designs facebook group at the time of when i'm recording this joanne is just about ready to pop some oopsie bags in there so if you join that group and there's ever any oopsies uh, joanne will post them in there and you'll find them but i picked up these there was a few to choose from there were some oopsie vellums there were some oopsie acetates there was some um wallets some of the plastic wallets that she does and some that just had like the front pages of the kits you know the, the full boxes loads and loads of stuff but you know what I'm like I'm a sucker for a tab and I can hear you all saying Rach do you not have a thousand tabs yes but I don't get your point <laughs> So I have got these ones which are the fold over tabs, they are the monthlies and they have got the um, overlay on them and they're in the buttercup colourway. What's the oopsie on these? Oh, I can see it. So it's just here on this one. It looks like one of the plastic sleeves, you know the sticky on a plastic sleeve has stuck to it and then peeled off. Can you see that? But that is not gonna bother me in the slightest. Now obviously this was an oopsie pack, so they come with oopsies, that is meant to be. If you order from Josephine Bow Designs and you're ordering stuff that's not oopsie, you will not get stuff that have got things like that on it. I'm only showing you this just to give you an example of the types of oopsies that you will get if you purchase an oopsie kit or an oopsie um, grab bag or whatever but you will not get this in the normal the normals are impeccable you just saw that in the foiling so we've got this one I've never ordered the buttercup before that is really really pretty that's a super pretty color so this is all tabs obviously I knew that then we have got the multi tabs I've actually just ordered these as well what's the oopsie on this I feel like it's a game show what's the oopsie on this Is it just that they're, so it's not going to affect the use, but can you see over on this side, the cut line is right on the edge of the colour. I think that might be what the oopsie is on these, because on this one, they're all in the middle. That's not going to affect the use in the slightest, because look, even on this one where the oopsie is right up to the edge, I've still got colour, not white. So that is, Joanne, that's nitpicking. I'm going to be honest with you, that's nitpicking because that's fine. That is fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So we've got this one as well. Oh, this is so pretty. We've got the fold over tabs with the ombre. And I can see here, we've just got a slight bit of marking on there. Only when you just tilt it like that can you see. 
just on this one here. Looks like something has maybe scratched it a little bit. I mean, these, I mean, they are obviously oopsies, but this is just nothing, honestly. This is absolutely nothing. So we have got some more tabs. These are monthly tabs again, but they do not have the overlay on them. The colour is absolutely beautiful. Not really sure what the oopsie is on these either. Potentially might just be that this little piece of paper is just a little bit... Um, I don't want to say dirty, it's more like it's got a little bit of like stick overlay on it. Like something sticky is stuck to it and then when you pull it off you get a bit of tack, you know, left, you know what I mean? But I can't see anything on the tabs on there. Then we, oh, we've got some mint ones. Are these a lagoon? We've got some tabs in the lagoon colourway. I think I might just give up trying to see what the oopsie is because it's really hard. There's a little mark right there, like a little crease. There, can you see that? They are absolutely stunning. Oh, and then we've got some more multi ones. Same thing, I think the oops is that the sheet is just a little bit, it's been, it's had something on it that's had stick. Oh, these are so pretty. Then we've got these ones, we've got the fold over tabs in the blush colorway in a different font. This one is font two. Very, very pretty. This reminds me of like a library font. This is the font that should be in a library. It's a bit more business, isn't it? And I love it. A bit more sort of ta like typewriter typed. Do you get what I mean? Very, very pretty. Then we've got some buff tabs. These have no overlay on them and nothing written on them. Then we have some lime tabs. Again, no overlay on them. And then we have some Lagoon tabs with no overlay on them as well. Genuinely struggling to see what the oopsie is on a lot of these. So yeah, that was great value for money. 10 sets of tabs for £10. And then the other things that I picked up from Josephine Bow Designs are these. I picked up a few of the transparent uh, quarter sheets. So I have got the Paint Swatch Months in Pastel. I love using these in my memory planner when I'm covering up that bit in the top left corner. Then I have got the script for food shop. I've got the script for payday. Laundry. And chill day. And then I've also got the monthlies that are not in the transparent. These are just foiled. These are in the pastel colourway as well. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at those. Oh my goodness. Just super pretty. And then I've got the functionals in the paint swatch. And these are pastel. These ones actually have a rose gold on them. Very, very pretty. And then I have some weekend banners. And these are in the pastel colourway as well. And we're back to the holographic foil. And then I've got the Habit Trackers in the pastel colourway, again with the holographic foil. So yes, these are the goodies that I picked up from Josephine Bow Designs at Planifest on Saturday, which was an absolutely amazing day by the way, I loved every minute of it. Right, so I'm going to go now and we're going to get into the proper haul. Bye! So first of all I've got a little something from Paper Kate. Now this is the only order that I paid for myself um, and I did use a little bit of credit as well because if you sign up on the Paper Kate website they have like a little dots rewards thing and if you buy with them you get dots. I don't know what the um, scale is but just say for example it might not be this but like you get one dot per pound that you spend and you wrap them up you get some for your birthday and things like that so I did have a few not much but I just got one kit um, so I have opened this already because I don't know whether or not you guys prefer to see a haul with lots of things together or whether you prefer to just see the Happy Mail things on their own in like quick two, three minute videos as they come in. Let me know in the comments down below what you prefer. The reason that it makes a difference is because I like to open the orders and make sure that everything is okay. If I'm stacking all this stuff up for a haul and so this sits on the side for a month and then I rock up to the shop owner like, oh, by the way, that order I got a month ago wasn't right because I opened it on camera and I don't know until that point and they might just think I'm having them on and trying to get some free stuff. So. I did just quickly open it and see what was inside. So like I said, I only got one thing. I just wanted to spend a bit of that credit that I had and I just needed to put a little bit towards it. Uh, but this kit that I ordered is just adorable. I couldn't resist it when I saw it. So I've got a little freebie here as well. I love the freebies from Paper K. They're so original and you get so much on them. 
Dot the Bear is just the cutest. I can't resist her. Right, so the kit that I got is the Birdhouse kit, and it just, it just, as soon as I went on the website, it just stood out to me. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The colours and the whole spring summer vibe, it's just beautiful. So we've got our nine full boxes here. We've got lots of functional boxes and a big tracker. We have got some headers which are adorable, some more functional, some checklists and some day covers. We have got some more functionals and our washies, which are super, super pretty. It's very delicate, this kit, I love it. And then we've got some more functionals and some checklist boxes as well. So this kit is available in the shop in a few different ways. I think you can buy it page by page. I've actually done that by accident myself before. I've bought a kit thinking that I'm buying the whole kit and actually I've just bought the full boxes. So just double check your order when you are ordering that you've done that correctly. That is definitely my mistake, not the shop's mistake. I didn't double check what I was doing. And you also get a paper choice of thin vinyl or thick vinyl. You guys know that paper K is paper, the thin vinyl I always get. That is my unicorn paper. I absolutely adore it. But for now, that's everything that I've got from Paper K. Next up, I've got my PR order from Happy Ship Papery. I've picked up a few oldie but goldies and I think there is a newbie in there as well. So let's just get straight on into it. The first thing that I can see in this one is my freebie, which I do love getting hold of. I've got a few of them now. I like to laminate them and put them in my planners and then I've got a big box. I've got a whole box full of all the freebies that I've ever had from shops that I've PR'd for and it's just so cool to look back at. So this is my freebie that you will get if you use my code. My code is Rachel16 and this is a gorgeous foiled freebie and it's on that transparent paper. This particular one here at the bottom is my favourite and I love it because it's just the edging it's not the middle, so if you want to stick that down and then write in the middle of it, it's super easy because you can just use whatever pen you would normally use to write on the paper, rather than if it was a full transparent box and you had to write on that. I don't know what kind of pen you would need, but it would be much more difficult to do. Isn't that adorable? I love the entire thing, absolutely love that. So I picked up this kit, which is an oldie but goldie from the shop. This is the Tropical Leaves kit. Of course, it's all summer vibes. I love it. We're having some amazing sunshine at the moment. Although, and you might be able to tell from the tone of this video, the lighting is actually much duller today and it has rained a little bit, but never mind. Um, hopefully we'll get some sunshine back later. But for the format of this kit, we have got eight full boxes. Smile more, definitely. We've got some date covers, some date dots, and some beautiful washi. I love this spotty one. We've got some functional boxes. We have got some headers, some page flags, and some layering stickers. Some checklists, some more layering stickers, and some trackers. And then we've got some checklist boxes as well. So we've got lots in that kit to get on with. That is a perfect amount of stickers for my B6 memory planner. Nope, I don't have a B6 memory planner anymore. I have an A5 wide memory planner. And that is the perfect amount for that. The next one that I have picked up, you will have seen me pick this up last year when it released. This is the Paradise kit. And again, we're going for summer. I think we're summer on all of them, actually. I think we might be. I was obviously feeling very summery when I ordered this. So I've got this in the gold foil version, but you can also find it unfoiled in the shop. And of course you can find it in Hobonichi Weeks and Mini Kit as well. So we've got our eight full boxes. We've got some beautiful bottom washi, some date covers, some date darts. We've got lots and lots of functional boxes. I love the amount of functional boxes you get in these kits. There is always a ton. It's very rare when I'm using a Happy Shaper Paper Re-Kit, no matter what planner I'm in, that I have to pull in spare boxes from other kits because there's just so much in here. Then we've got our headers, we've got some page flags, and we've got some layering stickers. We've got some more layering stickers, some trackers, and some checklists there as well. And then last, but by no means least, let's get this one open and see what's in here. So this was the latest new release at the time of my ordering. So I have got some Aloha Deco. I'm actually going to use that for my July setup this month. And I have got some floral trims. I have got the Aloha kit in Hobonichi Week size. Even though the boxes are smaller, the deco boxes, the detail is still all there. They're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Ooh, I've got some Aloha large deco. Now I like that. And I have got the Aloha kit. 
and I loved this as soon as it came out. I mean, I always have to have whatever Happy Shape Papery is releasing, but this particular one, I had to have it. I needed it, you know? <laughs> of course we need these stickers. So this one here at the top says, as free as the ocean, aloha state of mind. Yes, definitely. I wish I was on a beach with a pina colada. I'm feeling all sort of summery and Club Tropicana because I went to see the WAM documentary with my friend last night and when I came home I was feeling all like, let's lie by the pool and drink cocktails. <laughs> okay, so we've got our eight full boxes. We have got some bottom washi, some date covers, some date dots, all of our functionals. This kit is foiled as well with beautiful gold foil. We've got our headers, our page flags and some layering stickers. We've got a few icons on this one as well which I really love. And then we've got some more layering stickers and some checklist boxes and trackers. I really, really, really love these. They're like watercolour style. Can you see those? Isn't that beautiful? This one in particular at the top is absolutely gorgeous. Love that new release. So yeah, that was the latest new release from Happy Shape Papery. Go and check out the Instagram page. They will keep you updated with what's coming out. She does new releases quite often actually, which is really nice because that shop is just absolutely beautiful. But for now, that's everything that I've got from Happy Shape Papery. Next up, I've got a little something from another shop that I PR for. This, of course, is Happy Bees. Everything in this shop is super sweet and cute. The little characters are gorgeous. So let's have a look what I have got in here. So this is... What do we have? What do we have? Okay, so this is my current freebie with the shop. And you will get this if you use my code, which is Happy Bees Rachel H. And that should get you 15% off in this freebie. Funnily enough, I had churros the other day from Dottie's. I didn't realise they did them, but they do. I'm going to put this to the side because this is a little grab bag. But the kit that I chose this time is just a gorgeous gardening kit. It's just so cute. It reminds me of me and Chris doing our gardening outside, although I don't want to see any snails near my uh, bits and pieces. The fruits of our labours are not yet coming up too much. The tomato plants are absolutely thriving because they're loving the sunshine and then when we've had the torrential rain... All the stuff, not so much. I don't know if our cucumbers are going to do great this year, but we will see. But anyway, this kit is adorable. I absolutely love it. I am actually also tempted to think that the owner of this shop is a fan of succulents because there are always like little succulent plants or something on most of the kits. And I love it because I love succulents as well. But anyway, we have got our eight full boxes. We've got some functional boxes, a weekend banner and some icons. We have got some headers, some trackers, some more functional boxes here and a checklist box. And then we've got some date covers and some bottom washi too. So that is a really cute little kit there, perfectly sized for my Sology. And then let's dip into this then. So this was just a grab bag situation. So this is just a bit of whatever you get. So we've got the freebie that was October 2022's freebie. Christmas themed, that will do. Then we've got another freebie that you will have got at some point, June 23, this one. Oh, this is the actual freebie that you get for this month. Makes sense. I've got some school holidays. I have got some coronation stickers. Oh, I've used one, I pinched one. I've got some planner themed stickers and some dinner time themed stickers. I guess they're just icons, aren't they? I have got some barbecue slash summer themed stickers. Is that an ice cream or a corn dog? We don't really do corn dogs in the UK. Is that still a thing in America? I've got some tiny little calendars, which are cute. I'm gonna put those in my A6. I have got some more icons here. Sleep in all day, beach fun, eat watermelon, drink lemonade, barbecue party, picnic time, play on trampoline, ice cream treat, ride on roller coaster, hiking, blow bubbles, stay cool in paddling pool. <laughs> then I've got some boba tea. I have got some more takeaway stuff, boba tea, ramen noodles. Is it dim sum? I'm not, that kind of food is not my kind of food, Asian food. Uh, only because I don't eat meat and there tends to be a lot of meaty stuff in like the dumplings and stuff. So just personal preference. If I could find some vegetarian, I'm sure that I would love it. This one I'm obviously very happy with. This one is for reading. You write the name of the book in and then you give it your star rating. And then I've got this one, which is stationery themed. So I think you will agree that that was a very cute order from Happy Bees. And then last but by no means least, I've got something from a shop that has fast become one of my favourites. This is of course a Designing Leafter. Everything in the shop is just so lush and I want it all. 
I want all of it. This particular one jumped out at me because of the colours. I'm really into peachy colours at the moment. Peachy pink is definitely one of my favourites. Oh no, don't do that. Oh no. Can I get that back off? What a disaster. Oh, it's come off nicely and it has not damaged the sticker. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with that. You guys just imagine that that is still on there. And I'm just going to pop it in the deco section in here. Because if I try and put it back on there, I'm going to stick some of it to the paper. And it's going to rip the back and it's going to be a whole situation. Put that in there. Definitely don't want to waste it. So this is the freebie that you will get. Imagine that's still on there. So you get the days of the week and you get a little bit of deco on there as well, which is nice. Actually matches with the kit that I've gone with as well. I have got this, which is just so cute. A Kiss Cut Shop front. I love that so much. And then I decided to pick up this kit, which is the Life is Peachy kit. Let's move all of that out of the way. We can concentrate. Okay, so I've said before that I love these um, kits and I love the layout of them. There's something a bit different that I've not seen other shops do and it's really nice. Um, but in the same breath, it's not stickers that I wouldn't use because it's okay having a different layout to other shops or having something different, but it's not functional for people. But this is gorgeous. I love it. So we've got our nine full boxes here and we've got that gorgeous shop there on the front. Life is peachy. Then we've got our date covers, which are gingham, which I love. We've got some date dots and we've got some beautiful washi. Oh, that is adorable. Then we've got lots of functional boxes. We've got some works at the bottom here. We've got some to-dos. We've got some trackers. Next up, we have got lots of functionals. These boxes here and these circles and these paint swipes are my favourite on this sheet. Oh, I love these at the bottom here as well. Then we've got lots of checklist boxes and a Monday through Sunday. We have got some headers, some deco and some icons. I love the fact that the icons match the kit. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot I ordered that. Okay, so that was the kit. That is the Life is Peachy kit. And then, of course, I had to order these journal scenes. And these ones are the pastel moon ones. And I am completely in love with them. Which one is my favourite? It's got to be this one in the top corner. Isn't that just beautiful? Completely in love with that. I'm absolutely going to hoard it and not use it. Yeah, but for now, that's everything that I got from Designing Leafter. Okay, so that's your lot. Not too much stuff, but definitely a good amount of stuff for me to get into my collection and to get into my planners. But for now, that's going to be it from me for today. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye!